It seems like Stargate has a timing problem. MGM files bankruptcy, sorry Stargate. Webisodes are the future of making TV, sorry Stargate Origins. Co-creator Brad Wright hired to create new Stargate pilot, sorry we're busy with COVID. And finally, hey Brad, nice script. But Amazon bought us and now it's sitting at the bottom of a bunch of Rings of Power rewrites gathering dust. Sorry Stargate. The question that comes from this is, did Stargate's timing issue just cost us its creator? Well, it appears so. Uh, no, 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 no. Yes. Ah! The normally unassuming and cryptic voice about the future of Stargate has finally spoken up in the form of a tweet. Wright was asked to respond to any news on a possible new Stargate series. The generally elusive Brad Wright was extremely honest and forthcoming in his answer, and it included the words, gathering dust and timing couldn't have been worse. So what exactly happened? Does Wright's narrative mean he's throwing in the towel? And what will happen to Stargate now? You don't want to miss this episode. Who's the iris? If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please do so now and give us a thumbs up if you want more honest pop culture like this. And make sure you stay tuned to the end to see how to get this awesome Stargate inspired graphic design from the amazing artists at MixedTees.com. That's great. After learning the guy who was responsible for Stargate on television had created a pilot script for a new Stargate series, most fans figured this was a slam dunk. This wasn't Brad working on his own though. MGM had hired him to write the script in an effort to launch a new Stargate series. And after the nearly $8.5 billion purchase of Stargate's owner MGM by Amazon, this seemed like even better news. Stargate as a high profile property would be low hanging fruit for the new streaming company. Not only did the co-creator already have a script ready, but original producers and actors were on board to make new Stargate as well. Amazon could begin recouping their money right away. And for months now, we've just been waiting for the announcement. But instead of celebrating the show's return, Wright's response tweet on November 1st feels more like a nail in the coffin for Brad Wright's Stargate on Amazon. His response to an inquiry about a new series jolted fans around the world. He wrote, Thanks, but you won't hear news from me. MGM did hire me to write a pilot for a new show, but that was just before COVID hit. Timing couldn't have been much worse. All the players have changed in the interim, and so it's likely destined to gather dust. Would have been fun though. The finality of the words, would have been fun, is hard to ignore. Wright has never been one to give away too many details about the future of Stargate or his future involvement with the show. He may be a creator, but he isn't the owner. And as much as he wants to keep telling the Stargate story, he has no control over it. The cracks on how Brad felt about his proposed pilot script started showing during his Stargate 25th anniversary podcast on July 27th, where he said the script would probably never see the light of day. Fast forward four months, and probably never see the light of day has escalated to would have been fun though. It's obvious that Brad has little or no confidence that his version of Stargate is anywhere on Amazon's radar at this time. But why isn't Stargate on Amazon's radar? What does MGM Plus have to do with it? And how does Brad Wright feel about new Stargate without him? Before we break it all down for you, let me quickly tell you why you're going to love this video sponsor, Exter. We just threw away our old wallets. Wanna know why? Because we just discovered the most efficient smart wallet in the world. Exter has revolutionized the wallet and we will never go back to Bifold. We are so impressed. Exter wallets are super slim and sleek. They are half the size of a conventional Bifold wallet. Compact and modular, they hold 12 cards or more plus cash. And that means no more stuff 
stuffing that bulky, worn out bifold wallet into your back pocket. Forget sitting on that uncomfortable lump and slide extra into your front pocket instead. This high quality wallet combines Italian leather, space grade aluminum, and carbon fiber. Plus it includes built-in RFID blocking to protect you from wireless theft. And you know how hard it can be to replace all of your cards if your wallet is stolen. Exter includes a tracking card to help you keep an eye on your belongings with a map, and you can even ring it for location assistance. This is the last wallet you'll ever buy. To get an extra wallet like ours, visit shop.exter.com slash thepopcast. Get 25% off your order when you use code thepopcast at checkout. Join the wallet revolution and upgrade your quality of life with Exter today. Lucy, I'm home. I am not Lucy. It's hard to believe Amazon is simply putting Stargate on ignore. It's one of MGM's biggest TV franchises, and SG-1 was once the longest running science fiction TV show in America. So what the heck are we waiting for, and why have they driven Brad Wright to publicly acknowledge it doesn't seem like it's going to happen? The reality is, Brad has been in this business a long time, and we have to trust he knows when something has gone cold. Amazon's lack of acknowledgement or response to his work has to be frustrating. We were starting to wonder if Amazon even knew what a Brad Wright was, but we've been able to confirm with inside sources that they at the very least know who he is. Despite this disappointment and lack of response to his script, there is still the very real possibility that he might be asked to be involved with the property when the time is right. So when will the time be right? We've indicated in previous videos that a Stargate announcement likely wouldn't come earlier than mid to late 2023 as current license agreements for past Stargate properties begin to run out. A lot is likely riding on January 15th and the rollout of Amazon's new streaming service, MGM+. Plus. That's right, move over all other pluses, Amazon will also have a Plus streaming service, as Epix will be rebranded with the legendary studio name. The reason this is significant to Stargate is what MGM Plus Michael Wright said about the change. He said, this rebrand is a promise to existing and new viewers that MGM Plus is the place to find television that reflects and celebrates the legacy of the iconic MGM brand. That is surprising. It's usually so hard to shut you up. This may very well be part of the reason for the silence. Amazon may very well want to keep Stargate in the MGM family. And if that's the case, we'll know soon after the new year begins. Epic's lone original sci-fi show is the dark, bleak, and brutal War of the Worlds, an H.G. Wells reimagining. The show is a revealing examination of how humans cope in a time of crisis. MGM Plus would be bolstered by an updated Stargate series that focuses more on the hopeful end of humanity's future. With Amazon Prime already swallowing a large quantity of the streaming customers, having a secondary streaming service that requires membership is another way for the online giant to not only double up on subscribers, but also dollars as well. And to be fair, we don't really believe Brad Wright has thrown in the towel on being a part of a Stargate revival. He's frustrated and rightly so, but he may have some good news coming his way. Rebooted or re-envisioned TV shows haven't been lighting Hollywood on fire lately. Ask legacy Star Trek and Star Wars fans how they feel about re-envisioned shows in their franchises and see what they say. And Amazon is dealing with its own little stinker in the widely criticized Rings of Power series where they hired a couple of inexperienced showrunners when the master of the genre was ready and willing to step up to the plate. Would they be willing to make the same mistake on a Stargate series? Star Trek is turning things around with Picard Season 3 and even Discovery is getting an attitude overhaul. Star Wars may be pulling out of a tailspin with the new Andor series. Is it just a matter of time before Amazon realizes co-creator Brad Wright needs to be involved in a new Stargate series in some capacity? The new Quantum Leap is pulling it off with original creator Donald Belisario and one-time Stargate producer Martin Giro. There they seem to be respecting the canon as well as updating the story for audiences. It would be very easy for Brad to do the same thing for new Stargate, but does he want to? The answer is absolutely yes. Brad embodies the idea that it's amazing what you can accomplish when you don't care who gets the credit. Following a landslide of tweets that came as a response to Amazon not responding to his script, fans wanted to thank him and let him know they're in his corner. In typical Brad response, he deflected 
collected the compliments and sent them to all the people who helped him make Stargate a show people love. And while we aren't sure we agree, Brad would go on to tweet that he thinks it's possible New Blood could come in and capture the same spirit he and his team did so many years ago. Brad also wrote that he believes the franchise should return with or without him. And either way, he looks forward to it. It is a rare and precious person who can carry the world they built on their shoulders for so long and yet be willing to let someone else carry it even when they are more than capable of doing so. What do you think? What do you think? Should Brad Wright throw in the towel or keep fighting? Would you support a new Stargate series even if Brad Wright wasn't involved in the show? Let Amazon know in the comments below. Also, make sure to sign our Save the Gate petition in the drop down below and share it with everyone you know. Us fans will continue to shine a light on Stargate until Amazon provides a response. Please continue to tweet at Amazon Studios, hashtag we want Stargate and hashtag Brad Wright Stargate. They need to know what we want. Also, support the channel and check out this incredible Stargate inspired graphic design in our store. Get 20% off your purchase by using coupon code the Popcast. The link is in the description below. What?